Daniel Vallis here from InformedChristians.com, a website ministry devoted to discerning current events from a Christian perspective. This is just a watch, not a prediction. I'm sharing with you what is going on right now. We don't know what's coming down the pipe, but it looks like a lot. Again, this is just a watch. Just yesterday, I posted a video where we covered a lot of information that points to this particular time frame that we find ourselves in, the days of Noah, we find a lot of prophetic and celestial things pointing to this time. And we also see the enemy ramping up activity like crazy during this time and pointing, having a lot of signals pointing to this time too. So they expect something to happen during this time too, apparently. So there's a lot of activity right in this time period. So we really need to be alert and awake and ready during this time. And we've looked at how a lot of signaling has been that it, something's going to take place during and or, or around what they're aiming for is sometime around the occult holidays, which are their holy days, primarily the days that they would look at that last time and the, the cover, how it particularly points to this time frame. But another symbol that's on there that I didn't point out before is the World Rugby Cup. I have a symbol blatantly pointing to that. And again, they're signaling this time frame goes with that. And when did the Rugby World Cup end? Halloween, October 31st, right in this time frame. This cover is just filled with uh, symbols pointing to the particular time frame when they expect something big to happen. Now, they published this late 2014. Uh, there's a lot. They, there's a lot of foreknowledge and deep programming in this cover and symbolism. That's what media, advertising, TV, sports, that's what graphic design and advertising is used for in media. It's for sending messages. My degrees in advertising and public relations. I try to tell people that it's for sending messages. It's not to entertain you. Also on this cover, notice that they have two elements directly from Alice in Wonderland, the story there. Because they're driving home the theme that ties to it. We've covered this in our time sermon in the Bible series and other articles on that of what Satan is trying to do is literally almost in a sense just like Alice go down the rabbit hole go alter time and open the dimensional veil so look at our time articles to learn more about that since we see all these elements pointing to this time we shouldn't be surprised if we see additional media elements coming up that also come up at this exact same time frame that also echo the cover as a double reminder to really drive home the point so, already just looking at this time frame, this past few days, the Days of the Dead, which Halloween, Halloween, uh, Days of the Dead, Mexico, Days 1 and 2, All Souls Day, etc. All those days pertain to the same thing, the, that come from the root of worshipping Sinernos, Pan, Hades, the, the God of the Underworld. All, the, all that is focused there. But then tied directly with that, also the messaging is pointing toward a general time frame it looks like where they're aiming and they don't quite know where it's going to hit because Satan does not know the day or the hour. And this is tied directly, very closely related to Alice. Alice, pay attention to that. So then the, the World Rugby Cup, uh, the Rugby World Cup ended on October 31st. So then, you know, I put out the video yesterday. I thought I'd take a break, uh, get a spa of tea, and then check the news. And what did I see? That Disney released a little trailer for November 1st. And November 1st was the time change, if you remember that here, at least here in the United States, where we go, fell back an hour. And so they put out a, a few second teaser for a movie that's coming out in May of 2016, by the way. So that should be a big clue of all the times to pick. They chose this time period. So they decided to release a little teaser just to remind people, oh, do don't forget the time change. And so they re released this trailer and the big emphasis text said, it's time to go back. And if you've been looking at our time videos that we've been producing over this year, that is the crux of all this Alice CERN time stuff. It's time to go back. This is a very blatant message, and it's coming straight from Disney. Disney's the one who's producing this uh, version of Alice in the Wonderland. And if you've seen my video on uh, Armor of God and Disney, they are definitely used for messaging. And so they, they show briefly Alice going through a doorway and falling down to Earth. Think about this, people. Alice in Wonderland teaser right during a six-day window that's been pointed to in relation to Alice by the enemy, by Disney, and others. This is not coincidence. This is not coincidence. And to further drive that home, 
The very next day, they released another trailer. A very, it's really a teaser, just about nine seconds. And this one started off with the message, it's about time. And they're playing, doing a play on words. With media, people think it's entertainment, but it's not. There's always multiple layers of messaging. And it's, this is a warning. They're saying, he's reminding his disciples, it is about time. We're about to step up our game that we've been planning. The mystery of iniquity that we've been planning for a long time. This little teaser starts off, again, going through a doorway. Going down a hallway, a tunnel. Comes out to this room. This room is very interesting. Yep. Again, with all media, your subconscious is always going to be picking up a lot more than you'll see in the brief few seconds that they show it to you. But when we pause it for a second, we could see this room. The walls are almost covered with horns and antlers. A reference to Cernernos, the horned god of the underworld. And so they have this butterfly flying. Again, also notice they have a doorway very central in the scene. Uh, that's a major theme here. Doorways, doorways, doorways. Then they have a butterfly flying right at you. Uh, butterflies are a symbolism of transformation. And then it flies right through a mirror and dimensional portal to the next. Uh, that's the rabbit hole. But notice right here, right before it does, they also have the red, blue, uh, duality, that come money, the fire and ice, that they push a lot in the occult. But then notice the clock, right there. That's not just by accident, or just happened to be there by some furniture designer. No, everything in media and videos by, uh, recognized directors is there on purpose. And also notice what time the clock is at. 9-11. We have a whole article on the significance of those numbers, associated with judgment. It's a signal. Judgment is almost here. Satan knows judgment is coming. He, he's he got that worked into his plan. He's going to be riding the wave of judgment. And he has his own little fables and uh, lying wonders and deceptions that he's going to be using on top of that. But he knows judgment is coming. And his disciples do too. But they plan to, they, they somehow think they're going to ride it out. And then also notice in the scene where the butterfly goes through the mirror that they line it up exactly with the doorway again and the antlers, the horns there. Again, tying the doorway to the god of the underworld, the horned god of the underworld. Cernernos, Pan, Hades, Satan. Have you, have you caught it on yet that they expect something to happen very soon? Then, the next day, November 3rd, they released another trailer, even, even shorter, seven seconds. They just blasted out the text. Time is not on your side. I real quickly showed a, a quick scene of the Queen of Hearts. If you squint real slightly, it looks like a skull too, by the way. But time is not on your side. Satan is telling his disciples, get ready, get ready, get ready. Christian, the Bible tells us that we should be ready, that we should be alert, awake, sober and vigilant and all that stuff. Are you? Or are you deceived by entertainment and sports and things of this world that do not matter at all? Or are you living your life in light of eternity and seeing what's going on in the world and prophecy and the current events and just basically seeing that the hour is very late? Are you ready? Satan is making sure his disciples are ready. Are you ready for Christ's return? Then, today, they released yet another trailer with the more sober announcement, Time Has Come. They're emphasizing to the disciples, stay ready, stay ready. Time is almost out. Time is, the time that we expect things to happen is almost here. And what is today? Today is the 4th, right in between their two arrow dates that they pointed out. So that we're very close to what the enemy expects. But it's interesting, this trailer starts off immediately with an image. When you look at that, what do you think of? How about the Tower of Babel? We have our article, the very first one, Time Sown in the Bible. Watch, watch the video, read the articles. It's all about how that's what the Tower of Babel was. They were literally trying to build a tower, a technological marvel to break into heaven. That's what they're, that's what they've done again today with CERN, apparently. So again, <laughs> they push that immediately. This, it's, it's messaging of their Tower of Babel works relating to time is their Alice in Wonderland that's going to take them down the rabbit hole, go through the looking glass. And it, the movie's all about time too, which is even more blatant messaging. This is all about time and dimensional veils. It's all about time. Now, the closer we get, Satan knows most of the church is asleep and blind. They don't care. They got that I'm okay mentality. I don't need to be ready. I'm, I'm good. No! <sighs> then also today, 
surprise, surprise, CERN came out with an announcement of we're about to take our accelerator to the next level and the ALICE detector is going to be a big part of this next phase. And they talked about the ALICE detector. ALICE, 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 ALICE. Big push by CERN about their ALICE detector. And here's their logo where they have ALICE from Wonderland on it. Hey, wait a minute. That girl looks familiar. What does that? Oh, yes. That's on the cover, too. Are, are you seeing how strong the messaging is right now? The hour is very late. The hour is very late. And then, supposedly, there's going to be another Owls in Wonderland trailer coming out tomorrow. I'm sure it's going to be even chock full of messaging. Again, that's a movie that's not coming out till May 2016. The timing for the release of all this stuff right now in this window of just six days is very, very, very deliberate. And then on the 6th, the next James Bond movie, Spectre, Ghost, Hello, that's going to be released here in the United States, and the opening scene is the Day of the Dead celebration in Mexico. They even feature it on one of their posters. The hour is very late, folks. I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea. All I can do is tell you there's a lot going on that we need to keep attention on and really forget all about the frou-frou and the pointless, stupid stuff that's going on in this world and focus on the important stuff. Stay close to God. Keep your relationship close to Him. Stay in His Word. Don't be distracted right now. Be sober. Be very focused. Be vigilant. Look out for distraction that Satan's going to throw at you right now. But be ready, most of all. Have your lamp trimmed. Luke twelve forty six. The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him. That's about 98% of the church today. They, they're they not even looking. They may have a, a church service or two on prophecy. They might even do a Bible study on Revelation. But they really don't care about prophecy as far as affecting their life. Because they don't want it to affect their life. And so they're not looking for him. They're not looking for the events that match up with what Christ told us to look for. And so they're going to be caught unawares. It's going to be a complete surprise to them. They're going to have the reservation canceled. And they're going to be left here with the unbelievers. And then they'll have a little bit more time to read the Bible. Matthew 25, 6-7 And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. In the parable of the ten virgins, five were ready. Five were not. That's 50%. And I tell people today, 50% of the church is not going. They're not going. They're staying behind with the hypocrites and the unbelievers, just like the Bible says. Because they're just, they're just like the foolish virgins. They're off wandering where they're not supposed to be. Their, their lights are not shining. They're not ready. They're not trimmed. Um, they're going to miss the boat. Are you ready? The hour's very late. Be ready. Overcome. Maranatha.